welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be discussing the topic of mobility aids, why I use them, why I think they're helpful, and my opinion on them, and some tips for people who don't use them on, you know, how to approach somebody who does have them. Break a little bit of the stigma surrounding mobility aids. Um, I use mobility aids. I don't use them every single day. I am an ambulatory mobility aid user, I guess you would call it. The mobility aid of choice that I personally use is walking sticks, canes, whatever you want to call it. I have two here. These are the only ones that I own. Uh, it's probably more than I need because I only use one at a time, but you know, choices. So this is my first one ever. It's called Elizabeth and this is a aluminum walking stick. It is obviously adjustable, the size is adjustable, and it's a very cute pattern. Uh, it has a little strap and a charm that I made and put on there myself. And this handle is I think called a derby handle. Uh, I, this is my favorite kind of handle because it's very small and also it fits my hand shape really well and the way that I like to use it very well. So I really, really like this walking stick. It's light, it's sturdy, I don't know, I love it. And then I also have this one, which is my last video. I showed you how to upcycle it or how I upcycled this, this walking stick from something I was kind of old and tired into something that is much nicer and pretty. It's also adjustable. It was originally a um, foldable walking stick, but it it didn't fold anymore properly. It didn't really open uh, anymore. So if you want more details on this walking stick, you can watch that video. But yes, I decorated it myself. I did all of this myself. And it's also aluminum and the handle I think is wood. And this is a different kind of derby handle. I don't know if you can see, they're similar, but this one is skinnier and I feel like it's a more ergonomic shape, uh, but some people do prefer this handle. I personally prefer this one, but you know, it's still good. And the strap on here and charms, I also made myself. So if you want something like this, you can check out my Etsy store and I will hopefully have it up on that store by the time that I actually put this video out. If not, then you can just message me on Instagram or something and I will make one for you. This one doesn't have a name yet, so if you have name suggestions, you are welcome to suggest them. That's why they're suggestions. Also have another handle here that I also made for my black walking stick and I can change them out whenever I want. And it's a really cool feature, I think, that I included into my walking stick so I can match my uh, straps to my outfits. Why do I use a walking stick? Personally, I have a chronic illness called fibromyalgia. It is something that doctors don't really know what it is. It's incurable. My illness is a neurological condition. It means that basically my brain short circuits and nerves and stuff don't work properly or not as they should. And it's not always the same. So sometimes they work okay and sometimes they work a little bit weird and sometimes they look they work weird in a different way uh, and sometimes they don't work. But it's not all the time, it's not constant and that is why I'm an ambulatory walking stick user. I don't need one every single day. I tend to use my walking sticks if I am feeling symptomatic. So personally, the symptoms that I tend to have are more leg-wise and like back-wise. So I will lose strength in my legs and I will lose my balance and stuff. It's very common for people with fibromyalgia to have poor balance. Uh, that's another reason that I will use my walking stick if I'm feeling very unbalanced that day, if I feel like I'm very clumsy or more clumsy than usual. Uh, sometimes when I'm more tired, my legs just have a harder time working. So I will use my walking stick to give me an extra bit of support and the whole thing for me is that when I use my walking stick, I feel sturdier. I feel like I can do stuff independently. I don't need to have somebody close to me that can grab me if I'm gonna fall. A lot of times I've almost fallen and I would have if I didn't have my walking stick. I've been using them for as long as I've been sick pretty much, so almost two years. And honestly, I don't want to not have a walking stick anymore. I don't feel the need to have more mobility aids or different ones. I like this one and this works for me for now. I don't know if I won't have another one in the future, but for now, this is enough for me. I find that those are the symptoms that I need more help with. And for me is that the distribution of weight. It's something that really helps me because if I can 
put some weight onto the walking stick, my legs don't have to work as hard to carry me around kind of thing. Uh, it also helps if I'm in a line or if I need to stand for a little bit and I have an, a little bit of extra support. And sometimes I use it if I'm feeling really fragile. I may be able to walk on my own, but sometimes I will use it to signal to other people that I am more fragile, that I might need a seat or that I need to cut the line or that I just don't want people around me. I don't do that as much anymore, but that is something that I used it for a lot in the beginning because I, even though I could walk by myself short distances, like within my house, if I was going out in public, I felt very exposed and vulnerable. So having the walking stick helped me signal to other people that I had a mobility issue and that I needed extra help kind of a thing. I've had doctors tell me not to use it, uh, mostly because they think that other people are going to think ill of me. And my doctors now that I have now, my doctor team are really supportive and everybody knows that I only use it when I need it and that my thinking is I'd rather use my walking stick and still be able to enjoy my life when I am a little bit more fragile and where I, or when I'm a bit more symptomatic then have to stay home because I can't walk that well that day. I might want to stay home because I don't feel like going out. If I've been in a flare for a few days or a week and I am having a little bit of a hard time walking but I'm super super tired of being home, I really need fresh air, I really need to be out of the house and have a little bit of like stimulus like I need to maybe go to the cinema or go browse a bookstore or just go out for a little bit, have a meal, uh, or maybe I need to go to the doctor on that day and it's really hard to reschedule for that doctor. I will still use my walking stick because I'd rather still be able to do those things and maybe I need to do to go out on that day because it will make me feel better. It will help me mentally and sometimes our illness is physical and we have to look after our physical health and sometimes it is more on the mental side and more on the emotional side and we need to nurture that side as well even if sometimes in order to nurture the emotional uh, more psychological side we need to tire our body a little bit more or put a little bit more pressure on our bodies and I think that's where um, mobility aids come in. When I started having symptoms, like the thing that I felt I needed was a walking stick. And I feel like that's how you know what mobility aid you should get. Look at what there is and see what you're drawn to, what your body is asking of you. I'm gonna go turn on the light because it's getting really dark and I don't know if the lighting is terrible so I'm gonna go do that in a sec. I hope that's a little bit better. Um, it's very cloudy today, so the lighting is a bit... Mm. I feel like choosing a mobility aid is really more about the mobility aid choosing you than the other way around. It's something that you will feel the need to use, and if you feel the need to use it, and you feel like you would benefit from that, then absolutely go for it. Mobility aids can be used for a series of different reasons. They can be used for, like I said, sometimes to signal to other people that you have a mobility issue and that you need a little bit of extra room and a little bit of extra like help or assistance. Uh, it may be used to save on energy. So sometimes I will take my mobility aid because I know I will be out for a very long period or that would be a lot of people and the, the floor, maybe the ground isn't very even. So I'll take my mobility aid with me because I know it will help me save energy and be able to stay at this event or activity longer. And sometimes it's to help you walk when you already have those symptoms. So it's not prevented, preventative, sometimes it is uh, like something to help you get, get through it. Um, sometimes I will use my mobility aid like a day extra than what I really, really needed. So I might not be needing it at home anymore, but if I'm going out, I will still take it because I know that if I put too much stress on my body straight away, I will go back into that flare. So sometimes it's to help, um, you know, help you still make it out of that flare. It's like antibiotics. You have to take the whole box, even if you're already feeling better. I've had doctors also suggest that maybe using a mobility aid will make me lazy and will make me rely on that mobility aid. And I don't know what kind of like planet they live on, but using a mobility aid, uh, being disabled is not easy. It's very hard to, the world is not built for people who have mobility aids, whatever they are. So, and whatever kind of disability we have, the world is not built for us. 
it's very hard to access things. It's hard when you go to the supermarket and you have a, a walking stick because things are not made for people with, with disabilities. So having a mobility aid helps obviously, but sometimes it's a hindrance to your daily life. And I don't understand why doctors think that we will just start relying on it because even if we don't need it, because like that's just such a weird logic to me because nobody wants to be disabled. And also, I don't know if you find this as well, but when I don't need it, I find that using my walking stick is like, it, it takes too much work. Like it's uncomfortable, I don't like it. I can't use it unless I actually need it. And I find that on days, on good days when I try to walk with my walking stick, I just like find it clunky and uncomfortable and like I don't need it, I don't want it. I am not dependent on my walking stick to live and even if I was, I don't see a problem with that. Like I don't understand why if, you, if it helps you on a daily basis and you need to use it every single day, use it every single day, like it's your life, do what you want. I really don't think it's a big deal. Do what makes you happy and what makes what makes you feel better and do what helps your body feel better. So like, that's just my opinion. I feel like it's none of my business whether people use a walking stick or a walker or a wheelchair. And it's none of my business whether or not they need it because I'm not the disabled police, that that's not, that's not a thing. And if you see somebody get up from their wheelchair or walk without their walking stick for a little bit, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that we don't need it. it that's just a little note for those people who are not disabled. It's not your job to police whether or not other people are disabled. So if you see somebody parking in the, dis in the disabled spot and you don't think they're disabled, please keep it to yourself because you don't know whether or not they are. And if they're not, like that is a very small chance, but if they are and their disability is invisible, they're probably getting bombarded every single day with people policing them and telling them that they're not disabled enough and you are not going to be helping anybody. If they have a badge, just park in that spot, they are allowed to park in that spot and it's none of your business. And the other thing is with the disabled toilets, like also, please don't, because it's none of your business, okay? Yeah, anyway, that little tangent aside, those are the reasons that I use a mobility aid or that other people might be might need to use them and kind of a few pointers. Um, I feel like if you are undecisive about a mobility aid, you probably need one, but make sure that you research it beforehand. And if you are undecisive because you're embarrassed or uncomfortable about using one, I feel like making it your own is a really good idea because I find that whenever I use mine, I'm really confident about it because I like them and I enjoy using them because they are kind of an expression of my personality and they are something that I I'm really proud of, especially the black one with all the sparkles and stuff because I made it. I'm just so proud when I use it because I can tell people that I made it and it makes me very excited to share that with people. Be creative and make it your own. I feel like that's a good way to feel more confident about using our mobility aids. I do use a wheelchair when I go to the mall sometimes, uh, especially if I'm going to be there for a long time. Here in the malls, I don't know if that's something that is available in other places, but here it is. Uh, so for free at the, at the shopping center or like at Ikea, places like that, you can um, kind of like, I don't want to say hire because you don't have to pay for it, but I don't have the other word in English right now. So like loan, that's the one. Okay, so you can loan a wheelchair. You just have to like give your ID, whatever you sign a paper and you can loan a wheelchair for free and you can use it whilst you're at the, at the shopping center. And then when you're done, you give it back and that's it. It makes my experience a lot better. You don't have to deal with the energetic toll of having to walk for like a long time in that floor. Like the floorings on walls are really, really exhausting. Uh, so yeah, that's a reason that I also use wheelchairs, but I don't own one because I don't feel like I'm going to buy one just to use it at the mall kind of thing. But it is a really nice energy saver. And I find that when I go to the mall and I use a wheelchair, I leave feeling like excited and I want to get home and try on the things that I bought or I want to like, you know, go and do something else and I'm not exhausted and I don't have to recover for the next day, which is what used to happen before I started using that wheelchair service. So sometimes I will want to use it and sometimes I don't. It really depends on how I'm feeling or what I want to do. That does not mean 
that I need a wheelchair all the time or that there's any shame in it or anything like that. And I feel like the more we start using things and making them our own and owning it really will change the people's mindset about wheelchairs and about mobility users and disability in general. I've had some negative comments, like I, I get people feeling entitled to explain to me my illness and to tell me that all our treatments are wrong and things like that but I personally just kind of like brush it to the side and maybe I, it depends on the person, but sometimes I give a snarky comment, sometimes I don't. I don't have to explain to people why I use it. I don't have, like I don't owe, it, owe anybody an explanation. And if people are nosy, sometimes I'll just be vague on purpose just to make them feel uncomfortable about asking. Um, sometimes I will say something really blunt, like my brain doesn't work properly and they are just like, oh my God, I shouldn't have asked. Um, I try to make people feel uncomfortable about asking that because it's a really personal question and it's none of their business. However, if you are an able bodied person and or not, like or a disabled person, and you think my walking stick is cute and you want to compliment it, then by all means please tell me that you think it's cute because that is going to make my day. Things that you should keep in mind if your family member or friend or coworker or anybody in the world that you ever see starts using a mobility aid or is like me, somebody who uses it sometimes, but not all the time. Using a mobility aid does not mean that I am doing worse or that I am doing better. Worse or better is a very, very difficult concept for us because yes, there may be improvements, but our improvement is never linear and it's never stable. We don't just get better and then we never get worse. Even if I get better, and I have gotten healthier and stronger and a little bit more energetic, and I feel like my symptoms aren't as bad as they have been, that does not mean I still don't get symptoms, and that doesn't mean that I won't have bad days where I still need the help of walking stick. So the fact that I'm using it doesn't mean that I'm doing worse, it just means that I'm having a rougher day or that I'm having it doesn't even mean that I'm having a rougher day. Like sometimes I'm having a rough day and I don't need the walking stick. It really depends on what kind of symptoms I'm having. And I have symptoms every single day. Like today I have really bad knee pain, but I don't need the walking stick today. And sometimes I don't have leg pain and I need the walking stick. It's really not that easy to explain. And it's really something that I feel in my body and it's, it's kind of like if you're thirsty, you automatically want to drink water. That's kind of how it works with us. If I need the walking stick, if I need the mobility aid, I will reach for it and I will want to use it. If I don't need it, I won't want to use it. And it doesn't mean that I'm doing worse or that I'm doing better. It's that they're not mutually exclusive. Um, and it's really, really uncomfortable when people assume that I'm doing worse or that I'm doing better just because I am using it or not. I really, really dislike it when people make a big deal out of me not using it or out of me using it because it makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel like my health journey or my worst days or, or better days are going to be like tallied and judged. It makes me feel guilty when I have a bad day because it, people are gonna start telling me that, oh, you're doing worse again and there, it's gonna be this like dark cloud when it doesn't have to be, when it isn't for me. And if I'm doing better, I'm gonna be worried that next time I use my mobility aid, people are gonna tell me again that I'm doing worse. And it shouldn't be that. I'm using it to help me on that day. It's none of your business if I'm using it or not. And it's not a synonym of anything. It doesn't mean anything. And even if it does mean something to me, I still don't have to explain it to you. It's really hard because we already have to experience the ups and downs of chronic illness, and then we have other people making us feel bad about those ups and downs and making them even more dramatic than they need to be. And we spend a lot of time and energy trying to downplay how we feel and trying to normalize how we feel and trying to like get used to the fact that sometimes we have a good day and sometimes we have a bad day and it's just what it is, and there's sometimes a reason for it, but most of the time there isn't. And sometimes the reasons for it are not in our control. Like, if the weather is bad, I'm gonna be in more pain, and there's nothing I can do about it. And it's not, I'm not doing worse, it's just the weather's bad, and my body reacts to that. And it's not my fault. And people, like, making comments about whether I'm doing worse or better, when it's not even up to me if I'm feeling worse or better, is really, really frustrating and it's, it makes it really hard. 
And it makes me not want to spend time with those people because they make me feel uncomfortable about my body and about my need or lack thereof of using a mobility aid. There's this kind of stigma that only older people use mobility aids. Although I've never actually been, you know, told that and nobody's ever made that comment, I do see people doing many, I'm not gonna say double takes because they're more than double, but looking back and like kind of trying to look at my legs and to see what's wrong with me whenever I am out in public with my mobility aid, particularly when I use the wheelchair at the shopping center, I will have, especially like younger people, um, and sometimes old people too, will just stare at me and people will like nudge each other to point and look at me, uh, which please don't do that. It's very rude and it's really uncomfortable and it really spoils my day. I, you know, even the other day I was using my mobility aid and I had one girl kind of grab her friend's or sister's or whatever head and like turn it towards me to look at what I was, you know, using and it's just... If you're not a mobility aid user, if you're not disabled and you see somebody using one, don't ignore the walking stick or the wheelchair or whatever, but don't make it a big deal that they're using it. Maybe you can compliment it if there's something that you like about it um, or just be like, oh, so you're using a mobility aid today. And they'll be like, yeah. And you'd be like, that's cool. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. Make it a positive experience for them because that will feel so great for them. Uh, and if you want to talk to them, just talk to them about other stuff. I feel like that's the key, is that a lot of the times when I'm using my mobility aid is because I'm having a more symptomatic day. And on those days, the last thing I want is people reminding me of that. And it's just a normal thing, it's not a big deal. Um, I feel like that is the way to go. If you make like, oh, poor you, or, oh, I hope you feel better soon. I hope you don't need to use it all the time. Or if you make a big deal out of them not using it, like, that's so great, you're not using a mobility aid today, yay! That makes the experience of using one bad. It makes it seem like when we do need it, that we are doing something wrong somehow, and that using help and accessibility is inherently bad. And that is not true. I don't know, it's just my personal take on that. I feel like I've gone really like sidetracked, but that is my opinion on mobility aids. I think they're great. I think they're fun. I think if you need them, use them. If you don't need them, don't use them. It's really that simple. And just be kind and treat other people how you would like them to treat you. I feel like it's 2019 and we shouldn't be teaching people that you shouldn't point your finger and laugh at them, but I feel like that's still where we are. If there's anything that you'd like to add about this topic, please do so in the comments. If there is anything that you'd like me to talk about in the future, please leave that in the comments as well so that I can make those videos for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave it a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done that already. I try to make videos once a week about fibromyalgia and I also vlog about my experience. I sometimes can't manage that, but you know, that is what you get when you subscribe to my channel. It's not always what I want it to be, but I try very hard. Okay, that is everything that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.